Street theatre is intentionally bizarre. It's deliberately designed to not make sense. It's performed so your conscious mind is trying to work it out. What's going on here? Why is that? That While this is happening, your subconscious mind is freed up for them. It does several things. But every single thing is to get control of your consciousness. To do that, they have to get your attention first. This is the same with hypnotism. The hypnotist gets gets the subject's attention first. Why would anyone want to do that, you ask? For the implantation of a second entity within your auric biometric field in order to control you as the people who are participating in the street theatre are controlled and ultimately to take over you. The torture and mind control are tools to prize your personality, your spirit away from this reality, from where you are now in your body, the here and now. You to dissociate and to knock your consciousness back to the universal oneness, leaving your body momentarily prey to these entities that wish to get in and inhabit it. My discovery is that these entities have no fixed form and when you see them for what they are, they appear as a a, a greenish, brownish, blackish, greyish blob which takes a humanoid or a so-called reptilian form or like the shape of a ball. And my take on this is because they are not fixed in form, they attract because obviously these things are a blueprint, an electromagnetic blueprint. So they use the wavelengths, particles, very fine, finer than particles, wavelengths. Their electrostatic forces can align things. It's more fluid than our fixed form. So they can use wavelengths of light, sound or colour and um, form them into something. And this is my take on it, why they look greenish brownish. (laughs) Because if you get every single colour in your paint box and you mix it all together, that's the colour you get. And that's what these beans do. They they just attract. um, These aren't really particles, these are wavelengths. But they just attract these things and hold them to them and then form them into something, you know. But they need energy to do that. And the energy is chi. It's life force, it's chi, which comes from me and you, human beings that have a spirit, that have a soul, that can generate this chi for them to use to do this. They also, anything like electromagnetic energy is energy for these things. You've heard of electro, um, electromagnetic voice phenomena and things like that. People use um, a, a, a pump to charge the atmosphere so these entities without bodies can speak so that this is similar but they're using your chi, your life force and it is not in order to speak as in within electric voice phenomenon though that does come into it it's in order to appear as a human being in human form and they'd love your body that's the ultimate but what I've looked into they are not individuals it is an energy field that possesses a multitude at once so it is it appears the same all the time like a hive mind because it is the same energy field that is possessing all these bodies and the mind control the electronic mind control the smart cities citizen hook up to computers if you're a target individual you'll know a lot of this electronic harassment is done by computer this is the same modus so it must come from the same entity it's the same fruits however it's done so the electronic control of citizens via gang stalking by proxy, ele- technological thugs, transmissions, whatever. It all has the same 
objective, and that is to control, mind control the individual and remove the spirit. Whether it's Margellans, which personally I have, and I suspect this is the wiring that produces the uh, electromagnetic crystals. All funguses produce crystals. It's called biocrystallization. I believe this is this is part of the hookup to make us more electromagnetically sensitive to the frequencies and make us more possessible <laughs> by these entities. But the bottom line is these entities, reptilian, whatever you want to call them, they are behind the whole illusion that those which have this power wish to keep us contained and keep us down in order to keep us participating in the illusion. This now is an attempted takeover by these beings, presumably because people are waking up. <laughs> It's all the end game is to make you ultimately controllable, as they are. I mean, look at what they do, this street theatre, this gang stalking. They can't think for themselves. They're, who wants to be like them? Nobody. <laughs> That's why they have to take possession of you and torture you. You're not going to volunteer for that, that sort of stuff. It's all pretty unbelievable. I've done a talk for Victims of Street Theatre, which will um, explain how to offset it, what they're trying to do, what they aim to do by it. Um, it's got some techniques in it in grounding yourself and where you are, which is they're obviously trying to take you out of where you are by shock. And this will um, prevent. That's pretty unbelievable. It's enough for now on that subject. I've done a talk for Victims of Straight Theatre on what they're trying to aim, what what they're trying to do, how they how it go about it, and how to protect yourself from it with techniques to ground yourself to prevent them getting inside your energy field and pre to prevent dissociation, to offset dissociation, heal it and prevent it. Those techniques will keep you grounded in your body, where you are now, preventing you from being, your consciousness from being knocked out of it, where that's what these beings need to gain entry. That's one of the reasons why they try and uh, get, get in when your energy feels weakened and when or when you're asleep or when when the watcher is in abeyance okay so those techniques are on another um youtube um video which i've done okay thank you check it out bye for now god bless